Did you know that revenue from March Madness pays for the entire NCAA enterprise? That's right. A lot of people think that Power 5 football and men's basketball share the cost of the NCAA administrative state, but that's not true. Because of a 1984 U.S. Supreme Court decision, Power 5 football keeps all of its revenue, including from big-time ball games and the CFP. It doesn't contribute anything to NCAA expenses. In 2022, the NCAA brought in revenue of $1.2 billion, almost all of it attributable to Division I men's basketball. So what does that money pay for? Well, let's take a look. And all of these numbers come from the NCAA's Form 990 nonprofit tax return filed in 2022. Nonprofits are required to file these every year to show to the IRS that they are spending their money consistent with their stated nonprofit purpose, and the NCAA is an education nonprofit. First, men's basketball pays for $70 million in NCAA employee compensation and benefits. Next, it pays for all of the NCAA's service providers, including management services, lawyers, accountants, lobbyists, and some other expenses. That's $110 million. It's important to remember that these numbers are just a one-year snapshot. However, NCAA legal expenses in the big antitrust cases like O'Bannon and Austin have been paid almost exclusively from Division I men's basketball. In O'Bannon and Austin alone, the NCAA has spent over $400 million in legal fees and settlements. Even though the Power Five conferences were defendants, they made only small contributions. Then going down the NCAA's tax return, we have IT expenses, hotel, travel, conferencing, and, and insurance totaling $145 million. And those travel fees include NCAA private jets for NCAA executives and their companions. Next, we have block grant payments to Division II and Division III, totaling $80 million. No Division II or III product generates revenue for the NCAA. These are welfare checks courtesy of Division I men's basketball players, and Divisions II and III have come to view these payouts as entitlements. Then we also have a massive number with the national championships that the NCAA sponsors. It does that in every sport, men's and women's, in all three divisions, and Division I men's basketball players pay for all of that. The total cost of these national championships is about $150 million each year. If I did my math right, that's a grand total of over $500 million. Now, let's take a quick look at the NCAA executive salaries. In 2022, if you were the NCAA president, you made $3.2 million. If you were the NCAA chief financial officer, you made $760,000. If you were an NCAA vice president or senior vice president, you made between $475,000 and $650,000. If you were an NCAA executive vice president, you made $1.4 million. And if you were the NCAA chief medical officer, you made a $1 million. And if you were a former NCAA executive, you made $2.5 million for not working at all. Maybe all these NCAA bigwigs whining and dining in the NCAA hospitality suite during March Madness will take a minute to thank these extraordinary athletes who make their careers possible. Follow DYK.